It is now Easter, and Jack of Lent is turned out of doors. The fishermen now hang up their nets to dry, while the calf and the lamb walk toward the kitchen and the pastry. The velvet heads of the forests fall at the loose of the crossbow. The salmon trout plays with a fly, and the march rabbit runs dead into the dish. The Indian commodities pay the merchant's adventure, and Barbary sugar puts honey out of countenance. The holy feast is kept for the faithful. The earth now begins to paint her upper garment, and the trees put out their young buds. The little kids chew their cuds, and the swallow feeds on the flies in the air. The stork cleanseth the brooks of the frogs, and the sparhawk prepares her wing for the partridge. The little fawn is stolen from the doe, and the male deer begin to herd. The spirit of youth is inclined to mirth, and the conscionable scholar will not break a holy day. The minstrel calls the maid from her dinner, and the lover's eyes do troll like tennis balls. There is mirth and joy when there is health and liberty, and he that hath money will be no mean man in his mansion. The air is wholesome, and the sky comfortable, the flowers odiferous, and the fruits pleasant. I conclude it is a day of much delightfulness, the sun's dancing day, and the earth's holy day. Farewell.